All right, so uh, I'm going to show one way to clear out a seat tube from uh, any residue, from oil, corrosion, whatever, what have you. Here's an old uh, Univega frame. I chopped it up, did a couple things to it, but I'm going to show you the uh, inside of the seat tube. And this one's been sitting outside for a while. Uh, there's a lot of rust, some cobwebs in there. But uh, this is the before, and I'll show you the after. Anyway, uh, what you're going to use is a piece of round stock. Uh, this is quarter inch round stock and some uh, emery cloth. 100 grit and uh, here's what I've used this is a piece of round stock I think it's uh, 3 8 7 16 so I don't know anyway um, you're gonna make this and that's gonna hold your um, emery cloth and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the inside and we're gonna make one of these from this and uh, doesn't have to be any particular length just long enough uh, this is I think 24 inches and uh, let's get going uh, you're gonna need a uh, cutoff wheel electric grinder air grinder with a cutoff wheel on it and I'll show you you're gonna get a cutoff wheel. Uh, this one's uh, four and a half inch, forty thousandths. Uh, you're gonna make a slot. So this is what you're gonna use to make the slot on that tip right there. All right. So what uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut a slot in the round stock, and uh, you're gonna use a grinder. Aim for the middle. side well, that's about right I'm gonna hit it on the grinder and uh, deburr it and I shall return Okay, so we're back. Um, I rounded it off and I deburred it. Um, basically, I just cut a slot in there. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a drill and um, you're gonna get this emery cloth and you're gonna cut off about um, maybe an inch and a little more than an inch. And you're gonna fold it. And you're going to fold it about, I don't know, two and a half inches more or less. And you're going to get rid of that. And what you're going to do is you're going to slide it in the center right here. And 
I'm sure you get the picture of what I'm going to do. It goes inside the drill. And uh, move this over. I'm going to put it inside the seat tube. And you're going to go in and out. I'm going in all the way up until the water bottle bosses are at. So I think I'm going in about 12 inches. And you can see all the corrosion coming off the rust. And we're going to take a look inside, see what we got. Come on, camera. Okay. That's what we got inside. I really didn't hit it a whole lot, but you get the picture. Uh, what you can also do on the seat tube, uh, use some uh, WD-40, spray it in there, and it'll keep the grid in there and it'll make it even It'll polish it out even more. And uh, anyway, this works on seat tubes that are kind of corroded and kind of gummed up with grease and oil residue and anything that's caked in there that's preventing your seat post from going in. You do this and uh, it's a pretty simple way to clean out the seat tube and you can go in pretty far I mean, you figure uh, I mean the seat post excuse me the seat tube because the seat post goes in maybe six seven eight inches on some some bikes depending on the length and you can clean it all up and get that sucker working real good and uh, if I hit it more it'll work even better but uh, this is just for uh, instructional purposes so it's pretty good to go anyway this is a junk frame uh, I chopped it up and I used some parts off of it for something else but hopefully that helps you out